All right, so news, this last pass fishing attack, have you heard of that? Yes, I have. And last pass, uh, so last, just we'll go to the bottom of the story because okay. that's the most Work important up. thing. Last pass has made some modifications to last pass to make that less easy to do. However, it's not a security flaw in LastPass. We should make that clear. There are clear. so few. It's really our own darn fault, right? <laughs> it's a phishing scam. Yeah. Same thing can happen to your bank or, or any secure site. It, the, it's the nature of uh, the web is that uh, these elements that make up a web page are easily stolen, effectively. You could just download them using Inspect Element. And once you've got it, you can create a bogus page that looks exactly like the LastPass page. But we've been telling people for years, never just say, oh, that's the right page because it looks right. You have to check the URL, make sure it's a secure login, you know, HTTPS, that the padlock is closed. Uh, if it's a, and in the case of LastPass, it's an extended certificate. So you'll see the green bar that says this is an extended cert. If you see that and you're on LastPass.com, you don't have to worry. The problem is a bad guy can steal all the elements from the login page, create a new page that's, you know, lastpoos.com right. or something that looks similar. You may not be, you know, you may be in a hurry, you may be rushing along, you get the last pass prompt. We do get that a lot. Mm -hmm. What's your password? You enter it in. Even if you have two-factor, you're not really safe because now the thief has your password and he can even pop up a two-factor page, get your two-factor. That means he has 30 seconds because that two-factor is only good for 30 seconds, but he would have theoretically 30 seconds to get into your LastPass account. Once he does, of course, this is why it's important. That is everything. Mm -hmm. You know, if you had my LastPass keys, you'd have every password I've ever done. You'd so, be driving that Tesla. Ah, uh, yeah, it'd be bad, <laughs> right? You'd get into my yeah, bank, everything. Yes. So turn on two-factor, that's always a good idea. And it's the same advice we've always given. Be very careful about clicking links and emails, clicks, links on e web pages, particularly if it asks you for credit card or p password information. Make sure you are where you think you are, that, the, that it's got a certificate, it's HTTPS, the certificate belongs to the site. So you can check the certificate. Is this lastpass.com? If it's not, don't give them your password. So we should say that this wasn't in the wild. It's not like a this happened to a bunch of people. This was a security researcher that, that tried to, you know, said, hey, you could do this. They told LastPass, like you said, LastPass fixed it, made it more it's, difficult. It's kind of a, it's a, it's a, I, in my opinion, I'm not here to defend LastPass. It's a cheap shot. Uh, you could do that with anything. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just the nature of the Internet. Phishing is always a problem, and it's on the user. It's on us to make sure we're not entering our passwords in the wrong place. Right. So this is mostly uh, not, not an iOS problem, but we do talk about LastPass a lot. Yeah, well, we recommend it, and uh, you, you absolutely should know about it. Yeah, right. I, don't mind, I absolutely want to talk about it. But uh, you're going to see more and more of these security, I hate to use air quotes, flaws, but I'm going to, uh, because it's great traffic builders, mm -hmm. you know, and, and everybody's going to cover a story like that because they know you're going to click on it. Uh, this is um, not exactly, and we'll ask Steve Gibson tomorrow on Security Now, it's not exactly a security flaw. Not really. Yeah. Uh, but it is a little scary. That It used to be that the e phishing emails you would get were so dumb and there were so much, you know, gram well, grammar issues and they would look and it was... Which is not to say to that them. a phishing email for LastPass wouldn't be. Right, but... It could still be ungrammatical and dumb. Probably would be. Same people are doing it. But weren't they... Okay, so what they were saying was it could look... Exactly. No, the like email it. would still dust is stupid. Was, is it a pop up window that you'd see, <laughs> or is it an email? Uh, the only way you get a pop up window is if you go to a site that's been hacked. Right. Oh, so the email comes from you right. clicking on a link in an email. Or you go to a site that's been hacked right. and they have so. a script on there that pops up this fake LastPass okay. window. It, it's, it's not a big problem. And it's less of a problem now because LastPass has made some of the elements. I don't know exactly what they've done, but they've okay. somehow uh, attempted to make this better. Okay.